so it seems Twitch will let us do video again. Um, I figured I would do some video streams, Z brushing and whatnot. Um, the big one here is that um why have I got drop frames happening? One at the moment I can't guarantee the connection is gonna be the greatest. Welcome to Australian internet. Um and I can't promise that there won't be some lag because I'm going from the Syntec to my desktop on the um, sending so there's normally a little bit of lag between what's the Syntec seeing and what everything else is seeing. Um, but we d yeah, there are, there's a little bit of loss of drop frames happening. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, hopefully whatever's causing it goes away. I, presuming likely the syntax actually decided to do a Windows update and in the background on me and is downloading crap or something. Or something's downloading and I don't know about it. Um, like I said, Australian internet, there's not a lot I can do about it. So, we're just going to start off with a Dynawax mesh here. We'll instantly save this out as our own because I don't like forgetting not to, so... I'm just going to call this something no idea what I'm doing at the moment, I just want to sketch some. Let's try and work something out. We're just gonna play. Um, be slow at times because I have to reach behind and thing. Um, gonna start with the normal push pull. Try and work out what this ball of whatever it is will turn into. Normally they seem to turn into dragons. Or aliens, or fat guys, or yeah. and I have a cat that I swear is going to go flying if it keeps doing what it's doing. Drag this section out. Actually, make like a quadruped. So this will be, you know, something along the lines of maybe. So, this is going to be the head we need to rough out the light put. Maybe 
start with a spine area. See how many frames this thing's decided to drop. Yeah, only a crap load of them. Really wish I knew what was going on there. to smooth this out because if we don't smooth this out it's going to be rather messy when we start doing some stuff to come need to work on this neck it's a little thicken out at the moment a profile that we kind of want so normally when I'm working on this type of stuff I start with profile general feel same way as I would if I was working in clay or something like that um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't Sometimes you get, you know, an hour into doing something and decide that it sucks and you don't want to continue on with it. Um, what I really need to get back into is doing some speed um, meshing and trying to get the general basically same way as what would you do if you were um, speed painting speed drawing pick it pick a subject give yourself a set time and try and reach it I've used to do it quite often simply as a exercise it kinda comes in handy like most things but I've gotten a little slack on all my 3D stuff of late but trying to do the 50,000 things at once kinda does that and hospital trips so just building out the shoulder so we've got the general 
thing. Looks a little bit like um, Triceratops or something like that. But now we want to start building on the forms a little. Remembering that, at least if it's based somewhat on biology, it's going to have certain forms. So we're going to go. Thing like. Oh crap. Typically, most of these types you'll have the pelvis come in and there'll be a pouch then where the forward leg muscle here runs. There's um, typically a muscle that'll run along here. Join in. And we will start blocking some of that out in a minute. Um, using the, cl the standard clay brushes, but it's just easier to mass move push and pull as I put as I tend to call it a lot of this to begin with and try and just get our general forms because we'll use it to build out the legs a little bit better than what they are here control drag mass because we're in um, Dynamesh gives us a nice smooth clean topo to work on. So now we're going to switch over and we're just going to grab the clay build up brush here for a moment. I'm gonna, we're actually going to get rid of some of that. Build out the legs a little. I've got to be careful of that type of stuff, so... Probably have to do an inflate. Inflate the mesh out a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit of volume. Different brushes, different effects. And of course, we've got the problem this one, where how I did this just now, it started moving in, so we're going to go grab the move topological, just shift that back out. And who messaged me on Skype? And hello to the one viewer. Um. So again, profile. I want it fairly low, those legs aren't too bad, they're a bit out of balance. So we'll fill them out in a little bit. There's not enough meat on this back one. So we're actually going to switch to the clay, just start building out some forms, just continue building out forms. Knock back a little bit here. Put the brush, start knocking back some of this. Bring it up and around. Might actually need a little bit more room between the front and the back leg, so what I'm going to do, we're going to mask this section. Ah, oh, W. 
W Do a general move, clear the mask. Redo the topo, which will fix this, and then we can smooth out this area. And that lets us just look at refining this because what I was noticing with how close I had it, one, if it was a real life creature, there's no way the back hip would have been able to work properly. Um, at least not for a quadruped. And it was just looking a little awkward. I mean, it's looking a little awkward with stubby little legs, but... It's happened, so... Chest, and then typically slightly... Less in, so that'll let us define the chest air cavity. Down here. Now, short neck, got the thing, do we do a short thick neck or keep it large-ish, or we could extend the neck out, but the problem with extending the neck out is it really messes with the form. Um, So I think I'll just leave the neck stubby. Probably end up having to build that chest out just a little bit again, but again, at the moment, messing around trying to get the forms right. The thing is, for this type of stuff, so if you're doing um, dragons, dinosaurs, uh, dinosaurs, this will probably end up with wings at some point. Most of my work does, if it's not aliens, um, or if it's not hard body work. Um, the best thing is actually, surprisingly, dinosaurs or cats, uh, birds. They all have, if you, it's kind of cheesy and I used to hate being told it when I was at school learning and the like, but it is surprisingly how much anatomy gets used, even if you're not actually understanding the anatomy being used um, for this stuff. It's a case of um, trying to work out what the skeleton underneath is doing, what the muscles over the top of that are doing, what the tendons, all that fun stuff. And you can kind of tell normally if somebody's actually paid attention to at least the basics. It doesn't have to be perfect, I mean a lot of the stuff we do for this type of stuff is fantasy. You know, if I'm making something like this, which clearly, you know, doesn't exist, it's fantasy. I can have some fun. Um, if I'm doing something from Dungeons and Dragons, same deal. I can have some fun. I mean, they don't exist. Um, nobody's going to well, no sane person is really going to pull an anatomy book out at me and go, No, a great worm is meant to have 16 vertebrae here, not 13 and all this stuff. But 
if you're doing birds, cats and the like, you've got to kind of pay attention to the anatomy. Um, it's the same deal when you're drawing. There's no doubt anybody who's draw who does drawing will attest to um, if you don't get the proportions right, if you don't get the general look and feel right, especially early, typically at least the forms early on, um, things just really become a nightmare to do later. So, like, I could move off and start detailing a lot of the head and the like out, but the problem with that is... I tend to, you know, if I spend all this time detailing here and start moving back, there's a chance that I've messed up the general forms enough that the head might not work suddenly, um, and I've spent a lot of time on it for only to have to un delete it, or at least kill parts of the morph and the like. Um, But this general form's okay, so it's not perfect, but it's general enough. Like I said, it'll probably end up with a set of wings coming out of here at some point, but... Things, so now I'm going to... Start doing some work on this head, so... My favourite brush in... The Z brush, the damn standard brush. And we're going to rough out where we want the mouth. So the mouth will probably be somewhere around here, which means we're going to have to build this jaw out. Um, we'll have to work out what I'll have to work out what type of jaw. Send to say we, but it's me. I have to work out what type of jaw I want on it. Um, the face is a little wide too, as, as well. So that's probably going to have to change. Um, I need to pull in some sub tools because I need to work out roughly how the eyes would sit in the skull. So we're going to append. Just a sphere. Switch over to that. Going to grab it, scale it for a start, and helps if I grab the right tool. Still too big. Turn transparency on so I can actually see what's going on. Stop my comp my main desktop from um, going into screensaver and likely making even more drop frames. Like I said, I apologise to the th now three viewers for any drop frames. This is the joys of Australian internet. And the fact that I don't have the Syntec actually running on a capture card, it's just streaming from the Syntec to my desktop to the internet. Um, so if we say the eye is roughly there, normally I'd be talking with a friend of mine, Christy, all the like, and we'd be talking about the anatomy as I'm going. And she'd be nitpicking the heck out of some of my design choices. Um, which works. It's better than working in a vacuum. We're going to... So we need to start building up this area around the eye here to give it the 
socket that the eye sits in. We also have to keep in mind where's its vision going to be. And we'll probably actually switch back to the clay brush for a moment. Do some pushing on all of this. Turn transparency off. Kill that layer just for a moment. Do some pushing. Make the general socket area. Again, just quick forms. We'll build the lids and everything out later. This one I might keep and try and just do only on Twitch rather than what I do with when I was YouTubing a lot of this and doing parts even when I wasn't streaming. Um, we actually might give this thing ears. I haven't, like I said, I didn't say it's a dinosaur, so it can have ears. Who knows, for all we know, dinosaurs had ears. Cartilage doesn't tend to um, fossilise real well. We do need to build in the nose. There's two ways I can do this. I could do it how I'm doing it, which is just clay brushing back. Um, or I could just mask it, move it. But no doubt Christy at some point will look at this and go, okay, now explain the reason for the neck piece. Is it for mating? Is it for protection? Is it... thing? And I actually like that when that happens because it makes me think about the choices a little bit more. I mean, you know, this has started off as push-pull, push-pull. But as we work on, we kind of have to start making choices as to why certain things happened. Um, like I was saying before, because if we don't, then we kind of can't build the anatomy structures for it and the like. So. What I need to do here is this jaw's a little too narrow at the bottom. Um, I don't know if I've got the camera on here. So, on most creatures, how a, how your jaw works, depend, depending on thing, is you've got a set of muscles that run down the side here. And that's what gives you the, ch the ability to chew. Um, Trust me, I know. They've messed around with mine enough. The reason a jaw works as it does is because it's a ball socket, but it, which means there's very distinct um, patterns that you need for for a jaw to work. Uh, unless you're making a beak, a beak is completely different. Um, The other one is most animals, if you look at the jaw, the section under here um, is typically soft tissue and it actually surprises me how often it is. You'd actually think biologically you'd want 
um, a little bit of protection under here, but on most creatures, if you have a look at the lower jaw on the skull, it's typically always hollow. Um, again, later we're going to have to build out the actually open the jaw up and build out the thing if I want if I want to animate this this just depends on how far I end up taking this um, maybe start thinking about how this actually grows so is it plates is it um, is it all just one big piece of bone? Kind of thinking maybe that it's a mix of bone and cartilage. So, this section at the top it's likely bone. It comes in, but then maybe we've got maybe this comes down here. A bone spine or something. It's one of those tricky ones. Check the geo. And of course it doesn't help, like I said, that I just jumped in and started sketching. It really helps normally if I have an idea of what I want to make. Like when I do the drakes normally, I've got an idea of, you know, I want a four-legged dragon or I want a two-legged drake with uh, arms. Um, this was, let's start with a lump of a ball because I'm sore and just go for it because nobody was nobody that I'd normally chat to late at night was on and Kind of figure my wife deserves to try and get some sleep given she's hurt her back. And not only that, I got to had to go and run on like a hamster today and have a cardio scan done um, to make certain my heart was functioning correctly, which thankfully it all is. Build out the ear a little bit. I tend to end up focusing a lot on the head. At times it'll be, like I said before, to the detriment of some of the other parts, but I tend to find if you can get a creature the, as, at the same time as I pick on myself and the forms and the like, if you can get a creature's head looking right, it's kind of where you get the attitude for the rest of it from as well. doesn't bother me though. People watch if they want to watch, if they don't, they don't. Simply how it is. I'm not out to be big massive streamer. 
door because I like to do this because I like to make these creatures. Um, I like to sculpt. Let's me take my mind off things. I can't easily work on my models, my actual physical models, because they're around at my parents, and I don't really want to go all the way around there at the moment. Because I'll probably get there only to come home again. I I can work on this and... If I want to stop, I just stop and... Yeah. Don't have to drive a car home or the like. Well, I probably should have told some of the people that would normally watch on Facebook that I was at least streaming on Twitch, but... Oh well. I can't remember if Twitch does it for me or not. Stomach area is bothering me. Just Not so much the chest, but the stomach. Let's switch to my cap red should let me capture some of these details a little bit better. Really gonna have to work on this leg. We have a muscle there and a muscle that comes down here. Yeah, but normally you've also got one because this kind of has to come up and over this muscle. This should be saved, so if I go... Let's just pull up the drake for a moment. And wait for it to load the drake in. So if we look at the drake, this is not the finished drake, this very early drake, but we can see when I was doing the muscle forms, the leg here and here has to have certain forms, and that's basically what I need to work in on this current one. Um, surprised that that's... So early. Um, 
save. Must have n either desktop saved, and that's certainly not what I was just working on. That's the, as you can see, a lot of things start off as something. That's what the Drake started off as. Um, and if you're wondering what it finished off as, the Drake would have finished off as. I hope I just didn't lose all my work. Certainly could have sworn I saved. Told it to save before we. Good. Um, but the Drake ended up being. I'm fairly certain the Drake's on the desktop. Um, Because normally I'm transferring between this and the desktop for when I'm doing texturing and stuff like that. Because I'll break it. I'll do a lot of the animating and the like on the desktop. Mouse comes in handy when you're doing that stuff. When you're doing this and general texturing, not so much. Um... Wait for the poor Syntec to have a small heart attack. I always love that spinning wheel, honest. So entrapping for the three viewers. Spinning wheel of death while I wait for it to load. I have to look into as well what the deal with music here on Twitch these days is because normally I'd have music playing but I stopped doing that because when I was streaming to Facebook and the like it was instant kill of your stream but yeah this is what the Drake ended up becoming um, this is before he went out and got textured, so the reason I'm here is because it kind of shows the forms that I need for the leg. So we end up with this muscle which is what allows the leg to pull up this way. This muscle which helps with pu pulling the actual leg itself. Down here, not so much, though we typically have a tendon at the back. Um, the Achilles, as most know it. On the chest bit with this one's not really going to be much use for um, what I'm doing on the other one, because, go figure, it's not a... This is a biped, not a quadruped. But... If you're doing wings or the like, you've got to remember that the the muscles have to be able to pull the arms in. So they're going to have really good chest muscles, both in the front and the back. Um, you're going to look a little bit like a bodybuilder, a little ripped. And just the same with the neck, you're typically going to have, depending on how the neck moves, muscles in various forms in this one. We can see that when I was doing it, the next design is whiplash and the like, so you get the muscles, the same build, strands builds as you would al along a lot of um, serpents and the like. But this guy ended up textured and the like, and like I said, he started off as a something and ended up as this, so... Jump back to, I believe it's my Z Projects folder. 
And it's one of these two. If we want the one that was made today. There we go. But a lot of the... A lot of these end up being... Thrown on my desktop, as I was saying. So they don't stay on the Syntec too, much, too long. Because the Syntec's only got 256 gig of hard drive space. Um, I actually d don't believe that I can expand it either easily um, unless I use an SD card and I suppose SD cards are steadily getting larger these days so I may get a 120 gig SD card and throw it in the companion Still not happy with this jaw though. It's better to get a lot of this done now than later. So we'll go masking, but we want to change the mask out to the lasso tool. And we're going to go mask section. I'm going to invert the mask and what I want to do is grab it here and rotate this down slightly. One, because it lets me see that I'd have an issue back here. Um, but the other thing it does is I'll clean out the section of the mouth here and seal it up so that I can actually start doing a proper jawline uh, and build out the mouth when I get to it. It's better that I do it now than later. So we're just going to mask out this section again. And then you're actually going to hide that section because we can delete the hidden parts. So we want to go visibility, and that's what I thought it was. So we do that hide part. Doesn't matter though; it looks a little crappy at the moment. Geometry. What if I topology delete hidden? At the moment we've got a big ass gap in our mesh because of it. So I kinda need to tell it to close some holes. And if this doesn't work then I end up having to because sometimes it'll do that. So, when it does that, you end up having to do something like this, which is always annoying. So, we basically start forcing this back and flat. Of course, we've got to be careful of the Geometry. The other way we could do it is to put a block in here and do a um, remove, uh, basically a boolean. If any, if you know the normal terminology, but. Thing. Again, though, I can always rebuild this out, fix it up. Sometimes the mangling 
leads to other things as you're doing it. I'm just dynameshing each time, rebuilding the geometry in the mouth cavity here so that we can work because otherwise we get the pinching. Now that we've gotten it back to this point, we do another dynamesh. And we've got to be careful that we don't get any ties, but then we're just going to mask. We need to switch back to the actual masking brush. Freehand. I'm going to mask this area. Um, we're not going to mask this area. This is what happens when I accidentally lean on the tablet with the pen while I'm on the masking tool. I'm going to flip the mask, come to move, and it looks like I managed to leave a bit here unmasked. I just want to pull the cavity back into. face a little back to draw and yeah so now we can start fixing up the jaw a little bit We'll actually put a proper, a proper um, jaw in later, which is part of the reason why I wanted it open. This lets me build the cavity and everything that's needed. So. We're going to go to a new layer and I'm probably going to have to do some work along this section. Fix this. Uh, we're going to go to a new subtool. Just going to append a block. Just want a cube. Because what we're going to do is hide some cube. Scale it down. And then we're going to. Squish it a little bit. Now I'm going to go, I want to see you and I want you to be transparent. I'm going to move this down. it a little bit more. Move it down. Rotate it. So basically I just want to form half of a V. This will be, we'll use this as part of our bottom and jaw. So now we're going to go 
Geometry. Mirror world. Dynamish. Dynamish it. This section, a little bit out of here. Bigger brush. I just realised I did not have a symmetry turned on. Always a bad thing. Move this base plate out a little bit. Go B M T. Damn it! Bring this back up. And that gives us a lower jaw profile. It's not perfect, but it's something to work from. And then we're going to clone that. Switch to it, so I'm actually going to be a good person here, rename. Lower jaw. You know, this will become the upper jaw. So we're just going to move this one up. We want this thing because we need to then kind of no, we actually want want the head to go bob eyes. I need it for just a moment, so I need this to come up just a little bit higher. Okay. So now We can kind of shift this down back. And the thing is, the lower jaw kind of, ha kind of has to lock in with the upper jaw, so... Doesn't have to be perfect, but we need the forms so that we can build the rest of the mouth around it. That gives us the rough form. Oh, helps if I can. I'll stop being a pain in the neck. There we go. Do this. So.
this will let us build the rest of the face form from it. Um, and also fix up this front part a little. So we can see that based on that we need to expand out this section of the face a little. We're going to have to pull our lip up, but this section here can come back some, so we can do something like this. We've got a rough jaw form back in shape. We'll build out a tongue later. Put the teeth in and the like, but I think I might leave the stream here for the moment. Um, to the total of five people who ended up watching or so. Thanks um, to, the, I'm presuming, the one or two people who watched the entire way through. Real thanks. Anyway, my name's Rob. I'll catch you later. And we'll work on this next time. Bye.